everyone. I hope you can hear my voice. So, today's uh, topic uh, involves uh, a presentation about a video based remote support uh, solution called XRITS that we have developed ourselves and about uh, consultation projects on Microsoft's uh, Dynamics 365 uh, kind of a ready made product. A very different kind of a Excel project, but uh, interesting both, in my opinion. The topic of uh, today's uh, presentation uh, reads there a bit differently because that is also soft abilities who I represent, soft abilities vision of the future. What are the tools of modern work? Well, it's many, of course, but part of them will be most likely with augmented and virtual reality technologies and remote support. And here, remote support means a real time uh, based video. Uh, next slide. Uh, Softability uh, has been now uh, existing for almost 20 years. We've been helping uh, big, uh, Fortune 100 companies and also startups in the medical and, and uh, well, medical and industrial device manufacturers. So very industry focused uh, software development uh, and, and quality assurance services. And uh, lately, we have expanded uh, since 2016 into the Excel uh, sphere, which I will be talking more about late, later. We have about 60 uh, highly skilled experts, and I'm very happy that we are second company, to my understanding, in Finland uh, that belongs to the Microsoft Mix Reality Partner Program. This is in itself uh, uh, testimony of our uh, commitment and, and uh, experience and skills in the Excel scene, especially with Microsoft technologies, not limited to them. Also, I'm happy to tell you that we've been uh, selected four years in a row as a great place to work, and that has a positive correlation with customer satisfaction. For example, last year it was 4.5 out of 5. Next slide. So, access to the business unit is some. It's a unit that I helped to uh, found here at Softability. Uh, is it almost six years ago? Well, time flies, and uh, today it uh, employs around plus ten uh, experts from our uh, pool of sixty people. The rest are uh, consultants working at customers, and the extra studio unit is mostly here at our Wanta office, and of course uh, working remotely as well sometimes. Uh, what does extra studio do? Well, we develop our this uh, video-based X-Reads remote support solution, which I will talk uh, to you about a bit more later, and we also uh, deliver these uh, AR VR projects for companies uh, mostly in the industrial sector, but recently also uh, for teaching and uh, educational organizations. Uh, next slide. So these are interesting, uh, hopefully for you too. So our access to the references, and uh, they are divided into four uh, use cases. First one, in no particular order, is uh, smart class-based work instructions, meaning you can uh, work uh, hands-free and you still get uh, work instructions visualized in front of your eyes. Um, so in that category, we have, for example, a, a big Finnish uh, industrial manufacturer. Uh, it is a Unity-based, uh, customized project we developed uh, for them, and it's integrated uh, in a very light way to their SAP ERP and uh, uses uh, Outlook in the background as well. Uh, it is on HoloLens uh, too from Microsoft. Then a uh, second case that we will be talking more about today is for uh, Savonia uh, University of Applied Sciences, and it is uh, based on also HoloLens smart classes, 
the work instructions are implemented with the D365 guides pro product, uh, product. And we also uh, tested how the Microsoft Remote Assist works also in this case. So the smart, smart, smartest of you might have noticed that we have our own XREADS remote support solution. And we also consult on, on the ready-made product by Microsoft called Remote Assist. Uh, next slide. Second uh, use case is training. Well, we know we are and it's um, uh, advantages in, in training. They are huge. We are currently building uh, our first industrial customer uh, VR training case and uh, it's looking very promising. Uh, we have been building also with smart classes uh, this kind of mixed reality learning environment for Perho, culinary, tourism and business college in Helsinki. We have also consulted uh, uh, Keski Udenmaan Keuda uh, group, uh, which is a vocational school uh, or group of schools uh, with the D365 guides app uh, to support teaching with HoloLens students. And uh, also a big large uh, Finnish education organization. We have built a customized uh, React-based web application that's connected to Azure to uh, the Azure Speed Services. And the uh, goal is here to help learn English language pronunciation for all, all uh, different aged uh, learners from the most young to also adults. Uh, next slide. The third case is uh, uh, what I'm also talking more about today, including Savonia. It's our x risk product and uh, Oh, I can see that the content here on the slide is uh, is the same <laughs> as on the other slides. Uh, so I have I can I can tell you that what should read here is that our biggest customer is Sandvik uh, from Sweden. Uh, it is an industrial device manufacturer in the mining industry, and that uh, makes it a very interesting and demanding customer for this kind of internet-based solutions using XR and I will talk about that more later. But the other use cases for x reads and in general for video-based remote support include uh, remote uh, uh, auditing, uh, remote uh, training, remote uh, installation, adapt adaptation of, of new devices, and of course, remote uh, maintenance and uh, fixing on repair. Next slide. Okay, and the fourth and not the least of the use cases is sales marketing and the virtualization of those. And here we have probably the most of our customer references in Extra Studio, and it's ever growing. Uh, and uh, our closest customers is found actually in our, in our one our office building uh, right below us. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, announced name yet, but soon hopefully. And we are also building for an American company uh, this kind of real time 3D uh, based uh, uh, solution or, that will be working on WebGL on the web browser. And it is a way for their customers uh, to get introduced with their products in a very game-like uh, atmosphere, game-like controls and experience. And I think it's really cool. And it's uh, 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 the first step with them. And the second step would include using mobile AR, uh, mobile devices for uh, visualizing their products, which is the most often used uh, XR uh, solution in this category, at least for us. And then the first step probably would include using some more devices like virtual reality classes for the same uh, purpose of visualizing products. Uh, that is a very interesting case, and we are hoping uh, a lot from that. Uh, next slide. OK. so. The customer, first customer story regards uh, uh, Sunvik mining and rock technology and is based on our x reads remote support. Uh, next slide. So we interviewed Sunvik 
almost a year ago uh, and uh, we asked them a few questions first being what was the main motivation for implementing remote support uh, next slide next slide Uh, the first uh, reason was the limitation of not being able to send their technicians uh, and supporting staff to the front line because, surprise, surprise, of COVID pandemia. Uh, so that was solved uh, with this uh, remote support where, where you see what the ex technician sees on the field, in the mine. Uh, by a, an expert that can sit on the other side of the world in a nice office location uh, using her PC and a web browser. Second uh, reason uh, why to implement a uh, remote support solution was uh, the de decreased cost in offering this kind of support of maintenance and repair. So their use cases for remote support are remote maintenance and remote repair at this moment. It includes their internal organization, not so much their end customers yet. That's also coming. And of course, as they are a global company and mines operate in different time zones all around the clock, this is a 24-7, 365 days a year operation. And uh, this remote support helps them uh, uh, work in this kind of an environment efficiently. Uh, next slide. Of course, there was also this chance to create a knowledge bank on the cloud. So the solution is uh, reliant on the internet. And as it uses internet, it also stores uh, from all sessions where an expert helps a technician the data that has been changed uh, to the cloud. And we, it uh, forms this kind of a knowledge bank. And uh, they can, first of all, identify gaps in, in the knowledge of their experts and technicians uh, with this knowledge bank, and they develop those competencies. They can also report and analyze the data in the knowledge bank from all these remote maintenance and uh, remote uh, uh, repair cases, and that, uh, in that way, uh, develop their own operations to become more efficient. And of course, it is some kind of a, a searchable uh, database that they can find solutions to ready uh, or solutions to known problems. So they don't always have to get a real-time video connection with an expert. They can just search the database and perhaps even find the solution for, uh, by themselves. And of course, smart glasses uh, are interesting for them. For many reasons, they use uh, uh, Railware HMT1 a lot. I think we've uh, provided them maybe 20 to 30 of those devices, and they have uh, even much more globally in use. And the reason is uh, safety, work safety, so that uh, they get the data they need, and they also can show uh, with the video of the device what they see to the expert uh, in the office. And at the same time, they have their hands free, and uh, it is uh, more safe than uh, trying to check something on the mobile device with one hand and then trying to work on some uh, quite uh, maybe dangerous machine at the same time. Uh, next slide. So second question was, what are the typical challenges in implementing this kind of remote support solution? Next slide. Well, mining industry is heavily regulated. Uh, work safety, as, as, as you can imagine, is priority one. And uh, handling dig digital devices has to be done carefully. So there's uh, uh, cybersecurity issues and other uh, privacy problems. Sometimes you can't even send video out from a mining site. And you cannot use really remote support. Uh, or it is just chat and audio. And uh, then storing video uh, from these uh, sessions can be also an issue from the GDPR uh, view viewpoint. But of course, uh, blending people's faces using AI technologies helps with that as well. Uh, next slide. Third question, what is the role of remote support in reducing the life cycle cost of this maintenance and repair operations in their industry of mining slide 
well, it's the first time fix. Uh, having an expert in your pocket, uh, they have coined this uh, phrase, enables you to send a technician out once and he or she gets the job done uh, on the first time because the diagnosis is correct on the first time as they have the support of the expert remotely in real time. Next, uh, next slide. So second you customer story is a bit different. It involves smart glasses as well. Though, of course, the previous x rays product you can use on mobile as well. But uh, regarding the uh, Savonia University of Applied Sciences, we consulted them on using HoloLens uh, 2 devices with guides, uh, uh, work instructions, as well as uh, Microsoft's remote assist application. So those are both Microsoft applications, guides and remote assist. Next slide. Uh, so we actually implemented uh, three, three use cases uh, with these guides uh, from beginning to the end. Uh, Savonia provided us the raw material, meaning the, the instructions in text format, also pictures and uh, I don't remember whether there was 3D models uh, in, involved, but that was of, that is a possibility with these uh, apps. Uh, and of course, there was also uh, the remote, remote assist uh, solution that was used or tested for maintenance on, on one of these use cases. Next slide. Okay, so the uh, guides solution, first of all, it is very uh, uh, convenient uh, for these uh, customer organizations because it also involves or contains a content management. So the customers can create uh, their own instructions for any use case, as many many, many as they want. Uh, so what we do is we help them uh, learn to use the tool and sometimes make uh, this kind of um, instructions ourselves for them, as in the case of Savonia. And Remote Assist works very well with Microsoft Teams, which is quite popular nowadays. So people know how to use that. Uh, next slide. There were four use cases in the project and they involved three different medical devices. First use case was performing this kind of a laboratory test of uh, Pumala virus IgM. Uh, uh, and the second one was uh, performing the morning maintenance pro procedure for COPAS uh, device, uh, which is uh, about urine uh, analyze, uh, analyzing. Next slide. And the third one was configuring an, an anesthesia workstation before a patient uh, comes and uses it. And the fourth one was the remote maintenance uh, use case on the COPAS device. Uh, next slide. The guide app benefits then. What uh, we found out with Savonia was uh, that it makes the laboratory work faster to perform. It eliminates errors as you are following. Uh, uh, you are following uh, these uh, instructions very uh, carefully, and they're simple. And they contain uh, also video, which is great for understanding what to do next. That in total improves quality. And also, when we have uh, new employees, uh, this is a really good tool to help uh, speed their training their onboarding. So this was as much about supporting students in this uh, field uh, of, of medical uh, domain, as well as uh, people working in the domain, for example, in these laboratory conditions. So Savonia uh, found th these uh, apps to be effective in training students and guiding laboratory work in real working conditions. Uh, next slide. And uh, this is a, a quotation from the project manager from Savonia, Ansi Mahonen. What has been particularly meaningful was seeing how these environments have enabled flexible, safe, and cost-effective operational continuity during the COVID pandemic. So continuity, they can continue studying, they can continue working during pandemic. Many of the apps enable studies at Savonia without restrictions on the time or location. That's, that's important. In addition, the 
many ways for working life to develop and continue in these challenging social conditions uh, because of the pandemic. So overall, uh, very positive feedback. Next slide. Here is a short video of the app, the laboratory, all in So you have your hands free, and when you need, you can check the instructions. You can have video, text, and it's just There you go. Next slide. And the final uh, topic uh, very shortly, how to get started with extra technologies. Next slide. Trial version. We have an uh, extra showroom in Avanta office where we have all these four use cases where we have references from math classes based work instructions, training. Uh, next slide remote support and sales and marketing cases uh, with the devices, different devices. Uh, you are welcome to visit uh, for free and uh, experience these uh, use cases that are based on real customer cases at our office. Uh, next slide. How to get started, last slide. Find the potential use cases for Axer in your company or your organization. Who's the most promising ones of them? Important is the first step. Identify those key parameters, how you can measure whether these technologies uh, improve uh, your uh, operations or, or your uh, teaching or, or whatever you want to improve. And then fourth, uh, phased implementation, uh, enhanced based on the KPIs concept if that goes well pilot if that is still good full-scale production well it's simple uh, thank you